So guys, just doing a quick video on a few bits and pieces. Um, I'm doing a bit of everything. I will be attacking the radiator soon. Um, the headlamp, um, the the, uh, the lamp here, it sits in the middle. Um, the plow lamp, as they call it. Um, I took it apart. I was quite amazed on how good it is. It's really good condition. Um, and it works, by the way. <laughs> We've, uh, we have tested it. It has worked. It does work. That's all the visual. I can see a little... Some sort of number or something in there, I don't know what that is. FO 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 or something, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, that's good. I'll clean that all up. I'm not too sure what I want to do with this yet. I don't know if I want to um chrome it or paint it. I really don't know yet. Um so I'll, I'll come around to that. Um there's the the uh, gauges. Um, they all work actually, funny enough, but this is a bit manky, but there we are. Um, starting to work on this now. Um, Going to start stripping this all down. It's in good condition, really. There's a few little. Um, see this here? I've noticed. Um, I'm going to straighten this out and put a tax disc back on it. I think that's what was on there. Was a tax disc. I'm not too sure, um, but I think it was a tax disc that was on there. Um, so yeah, we'll um, maybe put one back on it or something. Um, that's kind of quite nice. It's all nice. I see that's just primer that is, by the way. Um, so you know, we, I've stripped all the parts down. Got the fan house in here, um, which has come up pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, that will be very nice when it's done. Um, battery tray, which needs some work, but I'll I'll do that. Not a problem. Um, it's not a problem. I actually um, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak on this video a little bit. Actually, I, I've just I've had a couple of um, people comment on the um, wings that I did. I did some wings and um, I stripped them all down. As you, I don't know if you've seen my last videos where I stripped the wings all down. I posted um, the picture of the wings, just the pictures, not the video, just the pictures of um, of you know before and after. And I was quite shocked, really, on the amount of negative people I got. Um, it was on a Ferguson page, um, Ferguson tractor page, and I was getting so many arseholes, uh you know, oh, you're using the wrong bolts, oh, that's not right. You And then one fella said, oh, you're using rivets, you shouldn't be using rivets. It should only have, you know, four rivets and then the rest should be bolts and all this. And I just sort of thought to myself, do you know what? I said to the fella, I said, look, I've done it this way for a reason. One, because I like it and it looks tidy. And two, um, it's it's easy access. So if there, if I ever dent the wing, the wing gets dented, I can take the wing off and unbolt it, unbolt all the bolts. You know, if you rivet it, then it means that I'm going to have to uh, do the same, drilling the rivets out and, you know, banging it around. And I don't want to do that. I've d designed this tractor. Um, yeah, I I'm doing it original. I'm just doing it as original as possible. But when it comes to the odd bolt here and there, you know, I'm not going to put the original bolts back in. Um, well... I am putting some original bolts back in, but you know I'm not going to put original rivets in and all this lot on the on the front wings. I'm going to rivet them because they had rivets in them and they they're actually split in half. But that'll be another video. I'll show you that one. But I just couldn't believe how many people were like really putting my work down what I'd done, and it really makes you so angry. But then you decide to have a little look on their Facebook and see what they're all about. And one of them's into canoeing. Um, so he's into like canoeing and uh, climbing trees and things. So he's got, there's not one tractor on his Facebook. Then you've got another fellow who thought he was a mechanic. Um, well, he apparently is a mechanic. He owns a mechanic business, something autos, you know, and uh, he seems to think he knows everything about tractors. Um, and all he's got is a couple of old bangers on his picture that he does up. Um, so I was quite shocked, you know, to have someone like him. No one praised me. No one said, oh, do you know what? You've done a really good job there, mate. Well done. Keep up the good work. It was just literally, oh, you're using the wrong bolts. Yeah, it's not right. It doesn't look right. And I was just like, I don't believe it. You know, all i have missing out is four bolts. That's all I've not replaced. And I just couldn't believe it. But there you are. I suppose I've got to get used to this. Um, you're going to have arseholes, I suppose, um, doing this and... This is how it's going to be, I suppose. But at the end of the day, maybe they're a little bit jealous. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, a few other people have put, put across to me and said, don't worry. They inboxed me and said, don't worry. These people are a bit jealous. Ignore them. Um, so I, I just removed the pictures off the page. 
and um, it's kind of made me think you now you know you don't want to put anything on on the uh, any of the pages now you don't want to share your work because people are criticizing it everything you do so I just thought I'd just do a quick video just to you know show you a little bits and pieces that I'm doing um, I'm gonna keep doing my videos because they they're good for me um, I look back on them and I can see what I'm doing and what I've done and how I've done things so I quite like them so you know my attitude is fucked a lot of you um, who don't like my videos um, they obviously don't know me very well um, but there we are so I just thought I'd let you guys know this is uh, this is what oh, I've got a text now um, but yeah I just thought I'd let you know um, that you know I'm going to continue doing the work and don't worry and you're going to see this little tractor looking uh, really smart all right thanks guys for um, watching please uh, visit uh, Facebook um, I don't know what the f uh, if you I have got a Facebook it's um, I can't remember now, but it's on there. Click the link, and then you can follow on Facebook all the little pictures. I've opened up a little Facebook page with tractors um, just so I can sort of put all my pictures on there and store them because my phone won't hold all the pictures, and plus the line of work that I do, um, unfortunately, uh, my phone just is not got enough storage for it. I've got a bigger memory card, but it just hasn't got enough storage. So uh, I've had to do a Facebook page and store everything on a Facebook page um, just in case anything gets wiped on my computer and I lose all my pictures on my computer because that's happened before So by having it on a Facebook page, it's more safe there because it's down to Facebook to store my pictures. But anyway guys, yeah, follow me on Facebook and um, uh, Yeah, uh, the fa Facebook link is just down below from this video Okay guys, take care. Bye Right, this is just a quick video on basically the horn of the little Fergie tractor. This is the original horn and I cannot believe how heavy it is and how well it's actually built. Um, you know, for the age of this tractor it's unbelievable. So let's just have a little look see if it'll work. Uh, well, let me just do that. A little bit more actually. Right, okay. <clears throat> let's see what happens now. Let's see if this little right. Let's hold it up like that. Well, <laughs> that works for a definite. Unbelievable. Um, you wouldn't get a horn today that would sit sit around and uh, be as rusty as this and would work after you know 70 odd years or however old the tractor is um, there's even a spider in there look <laughs> little spider they're coming out I don't know if you can see it look good job they don't have no ears let me just put him outside there we are that's that done good job they have no ears otherwise you'd be deaf Right, so that's that done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to strip this down, just take these brackets off and uh, give it a clean up and we'll give this one a, a little bit of a clean up. I think that's brass because it's gone green. So that'll look nice all brassed up. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Fantastic. Good little piece. You know, it's just a horn, but it's just amazing how well built in quality it is. Um, really good. As you can see, we've got the, um, the seats bracket here. It's all been stripped down, um, primed up so that's all ready to have its another coat of primer and then to have the enamel paint, little Fergie enamel grey on it next um, but I'll do all the little bits later on anyway we're just doing all the prepping right now so there we are, so that's a little horn, fantastic, brilliant stuff